Honourable members, uh, His Excellency the Governor General, acting on the advice of the Speaker, had appointed the Member of uh, Parliament for East RRA constituency as the leader of the independent group under Section 66.2 of the Constitution. This was published on Tuesday, 4th June 2024, as Extraordinary Gazette Number 95. There were sentiments made by various citizens on various media platforms regarding the process of appointment of the leader of the independent group. Some were quite misleading, while others may be well off the mark. Noting that the speaker is not answerable through those means, I wish to clarify to the House the basis for my advice to His Excellency, the Governor General. First question is, who are the independent group of members? Neither the Constitution nor the Political Party Integrity Act defines what an independent member is. The Constitution, however, makes reference to an independent group rather than independent member. In fact, subsection 7 of section 66 of the Constitution defines independent group as, and I quote, a group of members of parliament whose members are independent of the government and of any opposition group whose number includes a leader who commands their support, end of quote. In other words, it is a group of members of parliament that does not have any political affiliation with either the government grouping or the opposition grouping. What binds, what binds the government group or the opposition group, one may ask. To that, I'd say, is the, is the coalition agreement required under the Political Parties Integrity Act, which binds either the, gov the government grouping or the opposition grouping? Hence, the element of independence is in relation to either the government grouping or the opposition grouping, not in relation to or in respect of a political party. An individual or groups of individuals that does not affiliate to either political party or coalition of parties can be regarded as an independent group of members. In like manner, members of a political party that does not subscribe to a coalition of parties, parties agreement, can also be regarded as an independent group of members. Having identified who an independent group of members is, there are two possible scenarios envisaged under Section 66.2 of the Constitution for which a leader can be identified. First, the number of strength of a particular group. An independent group that has more members than other independent groups is more likely to have its leader appointed as the leader of the independent members. Secondly, the leader of independent group of members may be appointed by consensus or in agreement with other members of independent groups. Although he or she may not have the numerical strength to command the support of a particular group. The first scenario above, uh, described above, therefore justify my recommendation under Section 66.2 of the Constitution for the appointment of the parliamentary wing leader of the United Party and the Member of Parliament for his RRA as leader of independent members. I hope this, clarifi this clarification puts an end to the matter. Thank you.